Hey guys, it's Lakni, and today I'm going to show you how to gain insane volume in your hair without using any type of heat, without teasing your hair, and without using any type of extensions. If you want to see how I got this kind of volume, please stay tuned and keep watching. So this is my third day hair, which means I didn't wash my hair for three days, and usually I don't wash until the fourth day, but when my natural oil starts setting in, I start to lose volume at the top of my hair, and I don't really like to use dry shampoo. I feel like it doesn't give me the volume that I want, and I feel like these clips end up giving me a better look that I actually like. So now I'm gonna open up the packaging for what I use um, to gain this volume. I just realized I showed you guys my address, so kind of had to redo that part. <laughs> I actually use these little volume clips and it's from this company called Volu Clips and it comes in this clear box it says Volu Clips right on the front. Any little clips. The front texture is a little bit rough but I guess that's to make sure your hair kind of stays and doesn't slide off of them and there are about three different colors brown, blonde, and black so I guess it depends on your hair color. Of course got black because my hair is black so it matches very nicely and they also add this cute little note when they send you these which I think adds a great little personal touch and I really like that part. They give you about nine clips in one order. They're about ten dollars plus two dollars of shipping so not very expensive and now I'm going to show you how I get this volume. So the first hairstyle I'm going to do is just a simple um, just with your hair down so just if you want to make that whole thing look more voluminous so sorry my hair's kind of dangled um it is third day so it's like kind of crazy but um so basically all you do is you take the clip the back of it has this nice comb like clip thing um don't really know what you call it but it actually works really well you kind of just slide it in your hair and it stays really well um i thought i had to use bobby pins or something to make sure they're secure but it really honestly if you get a good grip it's gonna stay in there is um so I have really curly hair and I think it's easy for things to get tangled in there if you could say so they stay really well so I think these would work really well people who have wavy hair or some texture to their hair at least um, if you do have straight silky hair it might be tougher for you to get these clips to stay in your hair so in that case I would probably use a bobby pin and if you have super thin hair these might end up showing they're not very big but you can't have super thin hair or else there'll be a very big difference and you know you can tell if there's something in your hair so those are things you probably want to pay attention to um, but if you have hair uh, mine's really thick you don't even need all this but um, if you have hair even like half of what mine is they'll probably work just as well and I'm adding about three clips to each side I'm going just pretty much from my scalp and pushing pulling down just a little bit until I feel a tug when they're pretty secure and I just take the top layer over and then I take the top layer down after I'm done putting the clips in and it basically covers the clips and then I get my volume and it looks pretty natural. So you can style your hair however you want over the clips and it's very easy to cover. It didn't take me long at all. And I was waving my hair to kind of make sure they didn't fall out and they didn't, which was great. And it looks really natural. So I love that. <laughs> I took out the clips from the first style so there's nothing in my hair and I want to do a side part and sorry my bangs are looking real crazy I decided to cut them a couple weeks ago just randomly I probably shouldn't have done that but it's okay hair will grow but anyways I love doing side parts I think they're super cute only thing is um, the side that has less hair always looks so less voluminous and I hate that I want it to kind of match the side That's a little has more volume in it. So I think these clips would be really nice for that So basically I'm just gonna take the top layer of the side that has less hair on it flip it over for a little bit and um, Just add three clips on that side. Do you guys don't have to use three clips? Obviously it depends on how much hair you have I have a lot of hair, so that's why I use three. You can always use two or just one, depending on what you're going for and how much volume you want to attain. Um, and you can also do it on the back. I would have done it in the back, but it's really hard for me to show you guys. So I just kind of did it on the sides, but definitely put some of these clips in the back of your hair too, because you want volume all over, obviously. And now I'm just gonna flip my hair back like that top layer I took 
and kind of just reposition it to look a little nicer, but you can already see that there's a lot more volume on that side. With the less volume, I think it matches a lot better. I'm just gonna be fixing that because it looks a little off. And again, don't mind my bangs. I know they look kind of crazy, but um, I'm loving the volume and you really can't see the clips again. It was super effortless to hide those. So I really like that. that I thought was kind of tough was removing them and not every time like some parts were easy maybe it's just my hair I don't know or maybe there's an easier way to remove it um but it was a little bit tough to take them out um only because you kind of had to drag it out it's not like they get tangled but it's kind of hard for me to just lift it out um as you can see my frustration there but it's not like it takes a while and they're super cheap and I think they work great so that's not even really disappointment for me it's just a little side note I thought I should let you guys know okay so now I'm going to be doing style number three and it's going to be a half up half down style which is one of my favorite styles to do but sometimes I feel like the volume just isn't right and then I just don't do it so I'm really happy I can do it now with these clips because I'm all about the volume. Um, so I'm basically just going to be putting it up. I'm using a satin scrunchie because they cause less frizz and curly hair if you guys wanted to know. Um, so yeah, I'm back to the scrunchie life. I don't know why the hell it looks so concentrated while making this ponytail. It's really not that hard. Um, okay, so this is the volume before the clips are in my hair. And this is all of my hair in the front now. And yes, I know I have a lot, but I still love some more volume than I have. So I'm going to be adding the clips in. And for this updo, I did not um, put three clips in because some of my hair is already up. So I ended up just doing two because I didn't want like a lot of volume. So I'm just taking the top layer up again and then um, just kind of making sure that looks good. And I'm just going to add the two clips in. I'm about to get super close to the camera so so sorry about that but this is how the clips look on the side um and then I'm just gonna do a hair flip to the side and they should be covered up Now that I'm done with the second side, I'm pretty much just going to bring all the hair back out to the front and it is bigger than it was originally, which I really like. No clips are showing and I'm really liking this look. So this is the finished look and I'm sure you guys can create a bunch more looks with these clips than I showed you. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and please stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.